Hi guys, uh, this is Abhiya Shodran and welcome to my channel. So today we will be discussing regarding dialyzer characteristics, you know, absolute basics. So if anyone ask about what are all the characteristics of a dialyzer, I would say it's clearance and extraction ratio, flux, mass transfer area coefficient, ultra filtration coefficient, sieving coefficient, molecular weight cutoff, and last but not least, it's a molecular weight retention onset. So let's discuss about clearance first. So clearance or clearance K of a dialyzer is defined as how completely a dialyzer could remove a particular solute, for example, urea. So solute can vary. Here our example is urea. So it may be creatinine or it may be inulin, it may be beta 2 microglobulin, uh, for example. So unit of clearance is a milliliter per minute and clearance always changes with blood and dialysis fluoride. So that means if you change the blood or dialysis fluoride, your clearance also will change. That means if you increase blood fluoride, your clearance will increase. Or if you decrease your blood fluoride, your clearance will also decrease. So same way it is applicable to dialysis as well. So if you take an example, imagine we have a FXA dialyzer which has a urea clearance of 254 ml per minute at a blood flow rate of 300 ml per minute. This is as per the brochure. So this means our FX8 dialyzer could remove all of the urea from 254 ml of blood. But remember, the remaining 46 ml of blood will not be cleared of any urea because our FX8 dialyzer has a urea clearance of only 254 ml per minute. But our blood flow rate is 300 ml per minute. So remaining 46 ml blood will not be cleared of any urea. So the second characteristic of our dialyzer is extraction ratio or simply ER. So extraction ratio or ER is the percentage reduction of urea or any other solute across the dialyzer. So if you look at the figure on the right side of the slide, the dialyzer inlet urea concentration is 100 mg per dl and dialyzer outlet urea concentration is 40 mg per dl at a blood flow rate of 400 ml per minute. You can see in the slide as well. So then we shall calculate the extraction ratio by using a simple formula. So extraction ratio is equal to inlet urea concentration minus outlet urea concentration divided by inlet urea concentration. So if we substitute the values, you will get the extraction ratio as 60 percentage. So from this slide, you will be able to know that higher the blood flow rate, lower will be the extraction ratio and lower the blood flow rate, higher will be the extraction ratio. So this means the faster the blood flows through the dialyzer, the less time it spends inside the filter. So diffusive clearance will be reduced due to the lesser contact time with the dialysis. So same way, dialyzer clearance can be calculated if you know the extraction ratio. So you can use the formula, dialyzer clearance is equal to extraction ratio multiplied by your blood flow rate. For example, in the given figure, our dialyzer uh, extraction ratio is 60 percentage and blood flow rate is uh, 400 ml per minute. Then we can calculate the dialyzer clearance which will be the product of extraction ratio uh, multiplied by, um, uh, that means extraction ratio and blood flow rate obviously. So here if you substitute the values, you will get the answer of 240 ml per minute. That is your dialyzer clearance. So our next dialyzer characteristic is flux. So actually flux was originally defined by KUF, but however it was subsequently redefined according to beta 2 microglobulin clearance as well as beta 2 microglobulin sieving coefficient, which will be discussed in further slides. So our defining parameters here are beta 2 microglobulin clearance, beta 2 microglobulin sieving coefficient and ultra filtration coefficient or KUF and membrane pore size. So on the basis of these parameters, we can categorize the dialysis into three distinctive groups such as low flux, high flux, and middle flux. So if we talk about low flux, low flux has a beta 2 microglobulin clearance up to uh, 10 ml per minute and a beta 2 microglobulin sieving coefficient is not applicable for uh, this low flux because theoretically low flux filters cannot remove beta 2 microglobulin because of its higher molecular weight that is 11,800 Dalton. So if 
if you talk about the ultra filtration coefficient low flux dialysis will be having an ultra filtration coefficient or ku of up to 10 ml per hour per mm hg and will be having a pore size of 1.3 to 1.8 nanometers approximately so now if we talk about high flux dialysis so it will be having a beta 2 microglobulin clearance of 20 ml per minute and above and beta 2 microglobulin sieving coefficient will be more than 0.6 and it, it will be having an ultra filtration coefficient of more than 20 ml per hour per mm hg and it will be having a pore size median pore size of 3.3 nanometers so now there is a, another category called middle flex so middle flex dialysis will be having a beta 2 microglobulin clearance about 10 in between 10 to 20 ml per minute and middle flex theoretically cannot remove effectively uh, beta 2 microglobulin cannot be removed effectively by a middle flex dialyzer so if you talk about ultra filtration coefficient so the middle flex dialysis will be having an ultra filtration coefficient in between 10 to 20 ml per hour per mm hg and last but not least middle flex dialysis will be having a median pore size of about 2.4 nanometers so our next dialyzer characteristics will be mass transfer area coefficient or k0a so k0a is defined as the theoretical maximum clearance of a dialyzer for a given solute such as urea at infinite blood and dialysate flow rate so k0 is the product of two quantities one is k0 and another is a so k0 is the permeability co coefficient of the dialyzer membrane for a given solute for example here is urea and A is the total effective surface area of the membrane in the dialyzer. So according to this uh, component, K0 can be increased by making the membrane thinner or by adjusting its porosity. So according to engineering, so if you make the membrane thinner or if you adjust the porosity of the membrane, you can increase the K0 value. So same way, if you double the surface area of a dialyzer, you can roughly double up the k0 a value so unit of you talk about the unit of k0 a value which is ml per minute so in simple sense in layman's language k0 a is the clearance of a given solute by diffusion i would say so most dialysis nowadays used will be having a k0 a value between approximately 800 to 1600 ml per minute if a dialysis uh, k0 a value is less than 800 ml per minute then it is termed as low efficiency dialyzer if it is more than 800 ml per minute it is known as high efficiency dialysis and nowadays everybody is using the high efficiency dialysis now let's talk about the another dialyzer characteristic which is known as ultra filtration coefficient or simply kuf so kuf is also known as the hydraulic permeability of the dialyzer that means how effectively a membrane can allow the transfer of fluid or simply water according to a given pressure so it is the permeability of dialyzer membrane to water or called a yeah, so-called your hydraulic permeability so basically kuf is a function of membrane thickness and pore size so for example fresenius fx8 dialyzer will be having a kuf of 12 ml per hour per mm hg so this means so if you apply one mm hg pressure on the other side of the membrane in one hour you will be able to remove 12 ml of water so if we apply for instance 200 mm hg pressure then you will be able to remove 2.4 liters of water through the dialyzer so this is all about ultra filtration coefficient or hydraulic permeability so let's talk about another important characteristic of our dialyzer which is the sieving coefficient also known as s so sieving coefficient is defined as the ratio of solute filtrate concentration to the solute plasma concentration so you don't have to worry about this by reading the this complex terminology so you can easily calculate the sieving coefficient so first you need to calculate the solute concentration which is present in the blood on solute concentration which is present in the dialysate then sieving coefficient is equal to solute concentration in the dialysate divided by solute concentration in the blood so that is your sieving coefficient so like i said it has no units so sieving coefficient simply means it's the clearance of a solute by convection and sieving coefficient value will value will vary from one to zero for example if your sieving coefficient is one for a particular solute 
then the solute will pass through the filter unrestricted so there is no hindrance at all so if the sieving coefficient value is zero then the solute will not pass through the filter at all that is that means the restricted transport so for example uh, if the blood urea concentration is 88 mg per dl and the dialysate urea concentration is 52 mg per dl then if you calculate the sieving coefficient of urea s urea is equal to 52 divided by 88 which means 0 0.59 or 0 0.6 so here in this scenario so uh, here the sieving coefficient of urea you just calculated as 0 0.6 that means in another sense you can say that or you can think that uh, 60 percentage of urea will be removed by convection so that's it so another important characteristic of our dialyzer which is molecular weight cutoff so molecular weight cutoff or mwco of a dialyzer is defined as the smallest average molecular weight of a solute which will not diffuse across the membrane during dialysis so it is a little bit perplexing but let me elaborate it as simple as possible so imagine you have a dialyzer with a molecular weight cutoff of 1000 dalton so I'm repeating, you have a dialyzer with a molecular weight cutoff of 1000 Dalton. Then all molecules which are having less than 1000 Dalton molecular weight will pass through the membrane easily. And any molecule who is having more than 1000 Dalton molecular weight, for example, let's say 1002 Dalton will not pass through the membrane. So different dialysates will be having different molecular weight cutoff. So uh, for for to keep things in perspective so there is a logarithmic linear relationship exists between molecular weight cutoff and pore size of a membrane so for example pore size of if if you have a membrane with a pore size of 1.3 nanometer will be having an approximate molecular weight cutoff of 1000 dalton so same way if we have a membrane with a 2.9 nanometer pore size will be having a molecular weight cutoff of approximately 10000 dalton now let me discuss about molecular weight retention onset which is a new dialyzer characteristic so basically molecular weight retention onset or mwro is relatively a new concept in membrane technology i would say so in the given graph there are three types of dialysis which are high flex high cutoff and high retention onset dialysis according to their sieving coefficients from the graph we can see that as molecular weight increases the sieving coefficient decreases so from this graph it is evident that the membrane with high molecular weight retention onset or it is known as hro high retention onset membrane has the ability to allow clearance of certain molecules up to the size of 65000 dalton but at the same time it prevents the leakage of albumin because it's because it has a lower albumin sieving coefficient which is near about 0 0.1 so basically the dialysis with high retention onset membrane is known as HDX or expanded hemodialysis. So I hope you understood and enjoyed the session. So thank you so very much. And if you like the lecture, I would like you to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much once again.